G'day guys, Lou Top Secret here, and today I wanted to make a video on some tips and tricks for when it comes to uploading videos to YouTube and making sure your videos don't get smacked and ruined by YouTube copyright strikes and notifications and stuff like that. And these tips could really help you guys earn some revenue when it comes to earning money off YouTube. So hope you guys make some good use of these tips and tricks and let's get straight into this video. We're going to start off this list with number one, of course, as always. And my first tip for you guys is being sure to upload your video as private before uploading a video as public for your audience to see. What this little trick does, and a lot of people just look at me funny when I suggest this to them, but believe me, it can be really useful and it can save you guys a whole lot of money, trust me. So. What I always do is that I tend to upload my video to private first if I've got like any music or something that I'm not too sure it was going to get any copyright notifications on it or something like that, especially when I'm playing a Nintendo game. I don't want to upload that video to YouTube straight away and have it as public and just get copyright notifications here and there for having just stupid Nintendo stuff shown. So. What this trick does, it, it will let you know if there's anything that YouTube is calling copyright material. You can pretty much just take it out of your edited video and then re-upload it again as public because you got rid of that thing that YouTube was going to call, give you a copyright notification for. So things like music, you can um, upload your videos private first and if that music that you use in the video made your video have a copyright strike you can then pretty much edit the video again and take out that song or change it whatever you want to do and that could save you quite a lot of time and money and earning some money off YouTube so this trick I wish I discovered sooner because some of my best videos like Nerf Zombie Attack 2 and my tribute to CA Cox 97 had pretty massive copyright strikes and no, not strikes but notifications on it and pretty much ruined those videos on my channel and is a damn damn shame because those probably my my most viewed videos so make sure you make good use of this tip guys and really make sure your videos don't have any copyright notifications and material in it before you upload it for everyone to see because it can be pretty disastrous and can even get your channel banned and cut out of YouTube forever. So just be sure you make this good use of this tip because it could really save your life. Another helpful tip, and this is one I try to I encourage you guys to do all the time, but is actually scheduling your videos and setting a time where you're guaranteed to upload a video every day or every week, whatever you guys want to do. And this is a tip that most of the biggest YouTubers do, such as Jack Jacksepticeye. He uploads a video at the same time every single day. So what this um, little tip does is that it gets your audience engaged on your channel and goes to Jack's channel every time at the same, every day at the same time to watch his latest video. So I tend to upload my videos around 8 o'clock in between 8 and and 9 30 p.m the reason why is because my audience tends to be mostly teenagers and since most of the teenagers nowadays are busy studying for the hsc and stuff like that 8 30 to 9 30 is normally the time they have their free time and have finished all the studies and stuff so then they can go on out there and just watch some youtube videos or do whatever they want to do so if you guys know your audience pretty well you guys can pretty much set a time and make sure your audience knows about it. So if you're uploading a video every day at 12 o'clock, make sure your audience knows to check out your channel every day at 12 o'clock to see your latest video. And what this does is that it can really build up your views and stuff like that because everyone knows to expect a video at a time. So you're not just going to upload a video at some random time and your audience won't know to check it out. So that's a pretty good one. And remember guys, now that my set time is in between 8 and 9.30, you guys can come and check out my channel in between those times and that's that normally when I have my videos up. So 
It's a good tip. My third tip, and this tip will only work for those of you guys who have an iOS device. And this is something that I do for literally every single video I make. And this is one of my favorite ones. So there's this app called Video Downloader Editor. I'll leave a link to this app in the description down below. And what this app does is that it lets you go to any website you want. So it could be YouTube, for example, and then just search up a video that you want to download and you can download it and then save it to your camera roll. So what I tend to do is look up the channel called non-copyrighted music and my voice is breaking, damn it. And I check out one of their videos and then download one of their songs that they have that will guarantee have no copyright material in it. So I, that's what I tend to use all the time. And you guys can also get some pretty cool in-game um, in footage and stuff like that if you guys want. So you guys can look up some footage of, say, uh, the latest Halo game or something like that. And you can put it in your video. Just make sure you have permission by the original creator of that video. Then you should be pretty sweet. So I recommend doing that. And there is a pro version to the app. The app is free. But there is the pro version, which just gets rid of the ads and stuff like that. Something more to it, I'm pretty sure. So you guys can get the pro version, which, which is what I've done. And the app is also, it's pretty tricky to use. And they do have like this little editing um, area in it, which I don't use. I just use iMovie. But if you guys want to edit your videos on that app, you guys can do that. And it is tricky to get a handle on, but once you do have a handle on the app, it could be really useful to you guys, and I use it for literally every single video, including this one right now. So, there you guys go. My fourth tip, and this one's a pretty big one, and again, a lot of people don't seem to know about this one, is, but really, guys, is give your video a name that will give, that will people will actually look out for. So, say you're making a video on an unboxing for a new game or something, make sure you call the video unboxing and then you enter what the unboxing is of. Don't give it some fancy dancy title like what PewDiePie does, he just gives it some crazy ass name which doesn't really have much to do with the video. So if you're like a smaller YouTube channel, just be sure to make sure your video really has a title that is what the video is. So don't give it some fancy title. But once you're popular and have at least a million or subscribers, and then you can just give your videos a fancy title, whatever you guys want to do. Because you guys, you guys already have a fan base, so you guys can make it more fun for them, for them to watch your videos and stuff like that. But just give it a title that people would actually look up for. So there you guys go. And final tip, and this one, you guys should really take advantage of, but is taking advantage of the YouTube video tags now. This one I've only started to use a couple of months or couple months ago and it has really boosted my views and subscriber count by a lot once I started using the tags. So what you can do now is just one of the best things you can do now believe it or not but you take the title of your video and you copy it and then paste it as the first thing in your video description. If you guys look at my descriptions for most of my videos now I will have the title of the video first in the description. For some reason, this increases your chance of your video being found if someone searches for that exact title. I don't know why it works, but it, for some reason it does. And there's a video on YouTube where I found out this trick in the description down below. So you guys can go check that out for more details on this trick. And it could really help boost your views and stuff like that. So be sure to do that and do it other stuff that guy tells you about because he does have some pretty cool tips for getting your videos heard and seen and it is a great video and you guys should really go check it out if you guys want to get your videos seen then do those tricks so there you guys that was just a quick video on some tips and tricks for uploading videos to YouTube I hope you guys made some good use of this video and learned something new all of these tips I've discovered quite recently and have really helped me in the short amount of time I've been using them. So be sure to use these tips and tricks and you guys could no doubt, no without a doubt, make some great videos for people to see. And you'll probably earn quite a lot of money if you use videos and stuff that won't get you in trouble by YouTube copyright law and stuff like that. So there you go, guys. There you guys go. 
And if you guys have any other tips or tricks, please leave them in the comment section of this video. Make them heard and people can start to use them. And then if you guys want, I can make another video like this with more tricks and tips. Uh, thanks to the ones in the comment section, depending on how many there are. But I'll probably do that. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And of course, a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.